Hello everyone, for today's video, I will be sharing with you how I make lactic acid bacteria for my plants in containers. Lactic acid bacteria is an organic concoction in which we propagate lactobacillus bacteria. These beneficial microbes help our garden in many ways. They help us to fasten the decomposing process of our compost piles and I also use it to my other organic fertilizers such as banana peel tea, fermented plant juice, fermented fruit juice, and bokashi composting. It, I also use it to recondition my soil to reproduce or duplicate the nutrients and they create a coating in the root system which prevents fungal infection which is helpful if you are if your area is already suffering from heavy rains which can promote bacteria and diseases. Now that we have appreciated somehow the importance of lactic acid bacteria, the materials needed to make this brew are rice wash which contains starch and starter microbes. We also need dairy milk to stabilize lactic acid. They will control the excess food and bacterial waste. And lastly, we need either molasses or brown sugar and unchlorinated water. In making logs, first collect the rice wash and make sure you use unchlorinated water as top water contains heavy metals. Ferment the rice wash in a non-metal jar and label. Store it in a cool dry place and wait for 2 to 7 days. If you are experiencing hot weather, then the process might be faster, but if it starts to smell sweet, definitely it is ready for harvest. After fermenting, mix the starchy water with milk. The ratio is 1 is to 10, but if you lack materials, 1 is to 1 also works. Covered now with a proper lid and wait for 3 days. It's normal to see a solid layer forming on the top of the liquid. This usually means the propagation of bacteria is successful. In harvesting lactic acid bacteria, remove the curds and extract the liquid. Although we are done, it is advisable to mix in molasses for long-term storage as it will act as bacterial food. Mix it with 10 parts of hot chlorinated water. Afterward, it is ready for use. You can mix 10 ml of labs per liter of water and you can either spray or water it directly to the plants. And if you're going to inoculate it with other fertilizers, I would say 50 ml is good. But still, do not be afraid to experiment. Organic farming is always trial and error and you can always have fun with your experiments. And a few final reminders. Be sure that you keep your materials in a cool dry place and also work on a well ventilated area. I also encourage you or advise you to conduct proper hygiene as it will not only be for your safety but also for the fertilizer's shelf life. So that is all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you want to support my channel, consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the like button and sharing it. Remember, we have a Facebook page. This is Seth Cashel, signing out.